Hey ladies, welcome back to my channel. We are back with another Amazon wig install and today's wig is from the Doula Hair Amazon. I'll be showing you guys their pre-everything glueless yakky straight bob wig. This is a 13 by 4 pre-everything lace front wig you guys. So it comes pre-plucked, pre-cut, pre-bleached and it also comes with the ear tape adhesive. I believe I have this one in 10 inches and the density is 150%. As always, we're starting this tutorial off with an unboxing. They do send you some extra ear tape adhesives, by the way, just in case you were curious. And of course, there is an elastic band included as well. So here is the hair. The texture is a nice yakky straight texture. You guys know I love me some yakky straight texture wigs. They look very natural. And as you guys can see, this is a bob. And again, I believe I have it in 10 inches, but I'll make sure I put the direct link listed in the description box down below. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that I'm going to do as always is just add some foundation onto the lace because you want to make sure that the lace matches your skin color as best as possible. And I believe this lace is more so on the transparent side so foundation is crucial because transparent lace can show up a little white on us brown skin girlies. Once I have the wig on I'm going to make sure everything is centered. I'm also going to make sure that I get rid of all of the hair that is by the lace because I want to make sure that I have a clean space to work with. Everything is looking good so far, so I'm gonna go ahead and clip the rest of the hair out of my face. That way we can work on this ear tape adhesive. So as you guys can see, there's one on each side. All you have to do is peel off that blue strip and just stick it onto your skin and press it firmly. Now, if the tape is not sticking for whatever reason, you can either change it out, they send you extras as I mentioned in the beginning, and also make sure that your face in that area is not too oily or anything like that. So if you wear makeup like me, just make sure that it's still clear around that area. It's a real simple process. You guys know that these pre-everything wigs are not new to my channel. They definitely come in handy, especially if you are looking for a full-on lace frontal, but you don't like to do all of that gluing etc. I'm going to tuck on the lace just to show you guys that the lace is pretty secure with the ear tape adhesive alone. Now you guys know I always preach to you regardless of what a brand is trying to promote you have to make sure that you do what's best for you. So in my situation the ear tape adhesive was great however I did realize that there were little pieces of the lace sticking up and it wasn't laying as flat. So I did have to go in with some lace melting spray just to help with that. The flatter your lace is laying the more natural it looks so that's why it's crucial that your lace is laying as flat as possible. So since we had to use some lace melting spray, I'm going to go in with my elastic band just to give the lace a minute to kind of just soak everything in. And the elastic band also helps to lay the lace flat as well. Now that the elastic band is off, we are going to add a little bit more foundation because as you guys can see, the lace is looking pretty white on me and that's because she is more of a transparent lace color. So I am going in with a darker foundation just to kind of help out with that and blend it in. I'm giving you guys some close-ups as always and as you can see the lace is looking so much better so now we could go ahead and move forward. So 
So my first style with this wig unit is going to be a center part because that's pretty much how the wig comes. So I'm going to stick to that for now, but I am going to show you guys what it looks like with the side part later on. So to secure my middle part, I'm going to go in with my wax stick and my hot comb. I'm going to make sure that everything is laying extremely flat. This is what prevents your wigs from looking super bulky at the top and looking too wiggish. So this is one of my favorite things to do when it comes to my wig units because it just makes a huge difference. Now I'm going to use a lighter foundation in the middle part because this is what gives off that look of scalp. Mind you, the lace is already pre-bleached already and it is a bye-bye knot so they took care of the knots for you. The knots are pretty much non-existent on this lace but I still like to do this step just because it's my preference. Next I'm going to go in with my flat iron and I am just going to re-straighten this bob because we did just take her out the box so you want her to look very fresh, very polished. You don't want to see any dents in her etc. So I just went in with my flat iron just to touch up the wig a little bit. So comment down below, let me know what you guys think. We are officially finished. Personally, this wig install did not take me long at all. And even with me filming, it did not take me long. This is how the wig looks with a side part. I do like the side part as well. I think it looks very, very cute. But I want you guys to comment down below and let me know if you prefer a side part or a middle part. Either way, she looks super cute and I was happy with it. And you guys know that I normally don't like short hair on me, but I did like this bob. And you guys know with the yakky straight texture, it just looks super natural and super believable. So I think that's another reason why I liked it so much. The lace quality on this wig was really good. Even with it being transparent, we were still able to make it work. The hair quality was really good in my personal opinion as well. I feel like the shedding was very minimal and I did not have any tangling whatsoever. And I normally never really have issues as far as quality when it comes to yakky straight in general. That's another the reason why it's one of my favorites so no complaints from me make sure you guys go ahead and you check out my description box the direct link to this wig will be listed there thank you so much for tuning in and i will see you guys next time